here. You can't be here. Who are you? I'm Sam. Big Sam. You're far slighter than I imagined. Looks like Zoe's telling you some tall tales then. <laughs> <laughs> what is the occasion, by the way? Zoe and I get married on Sunday. Really? And it's my birthday. The whole concept of the movie, basically, the idea that a young man has fallen in love with an unattainable older woman who's trying to make a commitment, trying to move forward in her life, trying to be with someone appropriate for her. This young man, full of love, can't let go. He can't accept it, so he tries to... He, he, he crashes her wedding party. He's basically at the age of the character where he's most impressionable and, you know, really sees himself as an experienced, handsome leading man, and he's just not that. You know, she started smoking recently. You, know, you probably shouldn't be doing it at a gas station. That's an old wives' tale, Marshall. Um, you know, he has this kind of really reckless, romanticized view of life and love, and he'll kind of go through anything to, you know, get what he wants. I, I think it's, you know, a story about growing up, you know, no matter what age you are necessarily, and sort of realizing when it's time to sort of move on with a phase in your life that you might not necessarily be proud of. Maybe. <laughs> I've never been slapped before. That hurt kind of. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it quite so hard. Oh, you did. Well, I'd say this film fits in a area that I'm very proud of, which is, you know, stumbling upon being able to identify strong, independent, new writing. I, I just read the script and I thought it was brilliantly written. I, I couldn't believe it was a, a first-time filmmaker. I thought the dinner party scene was just masterful. I mean, with the way the, the interpersonal kind of relationships ping pong back and forth around that table is, is I would think something you would see in the work of someone much older than Max. It's really, it's really sophisticated and really smart.